Welcome to the Depot Sports Notebook, your daily WVU sports roundup at thedepost.com. During the offseason, WVU linebacker Isaiah Bruce regularly praised the team's depth at the position. He was excited that an injection of fresh, healthy bodies would help keep the Mountaineers linebackers fresh this fall and allow him to return to his natural position on the strong side. But you have to be careful what you wish for. WVU's depth was so abundant in camp that defensive coordinator Tony Gibson said his biggest problem was having too many linebackers in the rotation. The Mountaineers' numbers were up and something had to give. Bruce turned out to be one of those somethings. Gibson went with a starting lineup consisting of linebackers Nick Kwiatkowski, Brandon Golson, and Wes Tonkery in WVU's opener against Alabama. Bruce played in the game sparingly, but didn't leave a mark on the final stat sheet. It was definitely hard for me week one, Bruce said. I'm not playing as many reps as I anticipated so far, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It definitely keeps us a lot healthier. It's a long season, so our depth is a plus in a bittersweet kind of way. Following an injury to Tonkery this past week, Bruce came in to make four stops, second on the team, with a tackle for loss. Linebacker Shaq Petaway also saw an increased role following Tonkery's injury and finished with three tackles and a TFL. Lamprini Constantinathu is settling in as the WVU volleyball team's starting setter, and it's showing in her and her Mountaineers' performances. The 17-year-old true freshman from Greece registered 100 assists in three weekend victories in the Niagara Invitational as WVU stretched its winning streak to six matches. The Mountaineers' hitting percentage topped 400 in two of their three wins. The worst they hit was 348, which WVU coach Jill Kramer will take any day of the week. I think we're getting better every day, Constantinathu said. I feel comfortable with the players. Every day is better for us. The Mountaineers have won 18 straight sets since a 3-0 season opening loss against then number 9 BYU. WVU senior Ziva Dvorsak shot in the women's 10-meter air rifle competition Tuesday at the International Shooting Sport Federation World Championship in Grenada, Spain. Dvorsak, competing for her home country Slovenia, placed 11th overall with a 416.2 score in her first World Championship competition. The finish was her second highest in an ISSF event. Three-time NCAA champion and former Mountaineer Petra Zublazing competed for Italy and took gold in Tuesday's competition, shooting 207.1. Zublazing earned an Olympic quota for the 2016 Rio Olympics with her finish.